Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I am going to discuss about the STEAM training which is on Big Data. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the first question comes in your mind that what is Big Data? Because most of the people haven't heard about this term during their college. I was one of the lucky one who has Big Data training in her curriculum but mostly if people follow the university syllabus then they don't have big data included in their curriculum so big data is a combination of structured semi-structured and unstructured data which is collected by organizations that can be mined for information and used in machine learning projects so mostly machine learning projects predictive modeling and other advanced analytic applications use this big data they use this combination to draw out the required information so what are we going to discuss in this module is stream training preferences so yes you start getting your stream training preferences within 10 days of onboarding itself and if you are eager to learn about big data then you should fill your choices accordingly make sure you are filling your choices within few hours of getting those mailers because there are very few seats these are very new training modules so everybody is really excited to learn new things now so just fill it within few minutes or hours just fill it that day only so the training duration for big data is of two months you'll get accenture's module to learn big data also the trainer will come for straight two months and will demonstrate you many more things about this subject and whatever projects accenture has they will going to demonstrate you accordingly so talking about modules big data follows module one kind of concept therefore it has only two months of training and in those two months you will have uh, online training modules where they will be forever with you whenever you want to clear your doubts or know anything about big data you can just go and surf there also talking about test pattern there will be mcq to mcq test in very first month of training and in the next month you will have four hands-on tests the mcq pattern will be like of 20 marks and 20 questions that is one question carrying one marks you will require 60 percent average here also to clear those exams that is 12 marks in hand you should get those after that in the next month you have four hands-on whatever syllabus and practical based questions they are going to cover in the training period you will have to appear for hands-on exam after that there also you should score 60 percent minimum what if you fail after all these things after having your final exam final assessment everything is done mcqs are done hands-on is done so after that if you aren't able to clear the exam you will get two more chances and those chances are retest one and retest two so retest one will be like you will get the whole syllabus from day one the syllabus will include primers and whole big data theory there also you will require to score 60 percent minimum average marks to clear the rt1 and if you fail in rt1 also you will get mailer from accenture learning team that that they are scheduling your rt2 that is retest 2 because you have obviously failed in retest 1 there also syllabus will be the same and you will require 60 to 65 percent minimum average marks to get passed and after rt2 if you are still unable to clear the assessments then there are no more chances because in this duration this, this is the max to max thing they can provide you with after that there are no more chances your probation period is of one year everybody know that after that hr will decide what to do with you if your performance is good in previous months then they are gonna decide something for you but that totally depends so my advice to new joiners is don't let yourself go into that zone from the day one start preparing for your test you should score nearly 80 percentage in every test and for the big data people there are very few tests you should score good marks hands-on is not that hard also it is easy just focus on the training because you are going to be in that zone for straight two months so that is like learning phase for all of you 
just focus on it just practice more and more through their modules also you will definitely going to get something in your hand also don't forget to believe in yourself because success is waiting right there for you so that's all for today's video guys thank you so much if you like this video then please subscribe my channel and share this video with others thank you so much see you until next time bye bye